I got my start with the Packers when I won a helmet in an auction. When the helmet arrived, the helmet was erect. So I contacted the auction house. He said, and you're a Packer fan. I said, I've been a Packer fan since 71. He said, well, we got to take care of our Packer fans from New Jersey. He said, send that helmet to my attention. The Green Bay Packers would be happy to restore it for you. And the following year, he called me. We could really use your help on the field. And the, the next thing I know, I was a radio headset technician. And one of the guys, one of the coaches came up to me and he said, what do you, what do, you do for a living again when you're not with us? And I said, I'm a math teacher. He says, you're a math teacher? I said, yeah. He said, boy, have we been wasting you. And that night, I became a defensive line statistician. My job was to keep track of our nine defensive linemen. Every single one of those guys had a number of plays they could be in. That number was different for each and every one of them. There is math in everything, and there's a number of different types of math in everything. The one I love most is probabilities. I mean, what are the odds that a short, pot-bellied, non-athletic guy is gonna wind up on the sidelines with the Green Bay Packers? I mean, there's a probability for that. I wouldn't give it good odds, but here I am. 10 years ago, I got a much different probability. I was diagnosed with cancer, and my oncologist, I'll never forget it, he said, you know, if you do the chemo, you've got an 85% chance of survival. If you don't, you have a 65% chance. And it's a very humbling experience. And in the world of math, math really shows you where it doesn't always come out the way you want. And that math needs to be examined more. And 85% survival chance is not the same as an 85 on a test. I always enjoyed math. Working with the Packers added a whole new dimension to it. And math allowed me to be out on the field, be part of the game, be significant to the game, and, you know, not have to worry about getting hurt. I guess what I brought with me to the classroom is the discipline that you must learn if you're on the Green Bay Packers. I want kids to learn the responsibility. And, you know, when you've got that sense of responsibility, that's one of the greatest life lessons there is. I want to bring that to the kids. For the ones that really are the sports fans, I can bring it to life in a different way. So if you ever wonder, is there a place for math of any kind? in sports of any kind. I mean, my love is football, the people I associate with are involved with football, but there's math in every sport, serious geometrical math in every sport. And then you tell them a story of how this works. You're not looking at numbers on a page. You're, you're talking about, you know, running downfield, or you're talking about counting plays, or you're talking about, 285 pound lineman trying to bring down a 185 pound running back and why isn't he able to do it? Rodgers takes the snap and the other team has these big, enormous, huge, monstrous guys known as linemen that come pounding against our linemen and then they make it worse. They chase us. and they chase Aaron Rodgers this way. So he runs laterally to his right. Randall Cobb is running away. He's running. If I could take something out of my file and cabinet of stories, bring it to life for the kids, take it off the page, take it out of the black and white and make it color, make it live and suddenly you see the, the student and they say, ah, now I got it.